from Diamond Select Toys, we've got the Taskmaster from the Marvel Select line. Now, this is the main villain, I think, from the upcoming Black Widow movie. It says as much on the box, and I had heard that, and that is honestly the first time I've ever heard about Taskmaster. I thought I was pretty, you know, in the know when it comes to Marvel comics or comic books in general. But Taskmaster was somebody that kind of slid under my radar. Of course, I didn't read a whole lot of Black Widow comic books growing up. But just looking at the pack here, you get the idea that old boy is pretty good with the old arrow. He's got some arrows there with him, got a knife with him, extra hands to hold such things. And we're going to, of course, take him out of the pack here in a second, but we want to get a look at this package first. There's the Marvel Select logo, the Taskmaster name on it. Go to side, and there is a cool visual of what this guy is probably going to look like inside the Black Widow movie when it does come out, whether that be a streaming movie or a, um, oh, I don't know, as if it's going to go straight to Disney+. Plus. Hold on a second. Let me plug in the microphone. Hopefully you caught most of that because my microphone was unplugged. But as I said before, this is Taskmaster. Diamond Select Toys, Marvel Select line. Didn't know a whole lot about him until this figure came out. So I'm learning about it here as we go. There is a cool box art on the back here from Black Widow. There is Scarlett Johansson. He used to have a crush on her back in the day around the time that Lost in Translation came out. But that's neither here nor there. Cool package here. Collector action figure, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios, and there is what you learn about the Taskmaster, who can adapt to the styles and the moves of whoever he's fighting. He's rocking his uh, shield and his knife here, but the arrow is a cool thing. Of course, the side here is just a side panel, but we're going to pop him open, and we're going to see how he looks and see what we're working with. Okay, so right out the gate here, we got this shield. And, of course, the shield can pop right on his arm after you remove his hand. And he's got that to hold him with. Which, by the way, he looks cool. He's a little stiff in some areas. But besides that, the detail is great, as I knew it would. The only issue here, he's got a bone arrow. And he's got these two arrows. But there's nowhere to stick the arrows. I was thinking, like, maybe his backpack or something would have a place that you could probably stick the arrows. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Now, I've not looked at any other unboxings. I didn't want to be swayed on my opinion so I didn't I didn't look at anything but as far as I can tell as cool as he looks he's got these arrows but there's nowhere to put them so we'll have to get back on that have the bow and arrow he's got the knife which of course would go right in his hand which is cool that's probably gonna be what I keep him with that and of course this he's got three hands he's got that hand which could hold an arrow I mean you could put them in his hands if you wanted to that hand and of course this hand which Seems like a little little clawy there. I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it looks. But the figure itself, I think it looks really cool. Uh, you got the chest movement. The legs, the legs are, uh, if I can show you here. Like I said, I don't have a tripod, so bear with me. But he's got a little bit of up and down here in these legs. Like you can kind of put them up in the joint or bring them down a little bit. Uh, the knees bend. Double joint. We could do the, the, the ass touch. Almost, if you want to do that, that's the ding. So he's flexible, which is a good thing. Uh, so the legs are really cool. Like I said, the waist is maybe the only thing that's a little stiff right around here. And that's probably hampered by this backpack that I don't believe actually comes off. But, you know, it's still great with detail. Taskmaster, I'll, I'll at least give him credit. He, he, he's a cool looking figure. We got the elbow joints that move and the hands that move and all that good stuff. And when you just stand him up, which I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to stand him up with stuff. And then we're going to get another look at him. But you know how the movement is on these. It's, it's kind of maybe a little shy of the quality of maybe a Marvel Legend in movement. But detail, you can't beat it. And plus, it's a little taller. So it may be more in sync with the new DC figures than the actual Marvel figures that come out through the other line is. But... Let me pause for a second, find more of a sturdy base for him, and uh, we'll see what it looks like with little display action. So I popped his hand off just to get that shield on there, and you could probably actually have him hold the shield with one of the hands if you really wanted to put the effort into it. Put another hand on so he could hold his little knife there, his sword. Deal if we can get it to come in focus. But 
like I said, for display purposes, you're not going to be disappointed with Taskmaster. Uh, the arrows, though, seem kind of pointless unless you got him holding them. But as far as figures go, it's definitely sculpted great, which is the Diamond Select MO, really. It's sculpting these things really, really good. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of one of the G.I. Joes that are out here lately. A little bit, if you've been seeing those, you know what I'm talking about. But as far as figures go, I like it. I'd give it a solid probably 8 out of 10, with the only real hamper here being that the arrows just kind of, I don't know, I mean, you can kind of, you know, poke them in his hand, but I wish he had like somewhere to actually like hold them, like a little belt to put them in or something, unless I'm missing something completely, and if I am, you can message me below and let me know, but nonetheless, this is Diamond Select Toys, it's Taskmaster from the new Black Widow movie that's coming out. Overall, it's cool looking. Got relatively good detail, or excuse me, movement. Detail's great, but it's got relatively good movement that's only hampered by a few things. But I like it, which I like all Marvel Select stuff from uh, Dime Select Toys. So let me know what you think below. If you're getting it, if you've tried it, if you prefer anything else. I'm open to all suggestions and comments. So let me know.